guys? I hope you're having a great week. So on today's video, I get to review something that I've kind of been looking forward to reviewing. The brand I'm talking about today is The Luxurious Bastard. And I was able to get four uh, products from them. And so I'm going to do two on this video and then I'm going to make another video. The two products that I'm going to talk about today are beard oils. And one is the Tobacconist Bastard and the 1912 Bastard. When I got on the website and I was really looking through uh, the different scent profiles that were listed there, these two really sparked my interest. Uh, just the description, I love, I love tobacco. Um, I'm, I, like, I like smoking cigars. I do occasionally enjoy, I do have a pipe, so I do occasionally enjoy a pipe as well. So the tobacconist really intrigued me. And then the 1912, um, the way it was uh, described was, it was supposed to be reminiscent of being in like an old general store back in 1912. So to smell like kind of like maybe just that older building, um, like some spices and things like that in the, in the store. So that just, again, really intrigued me. It, it sounded like it would be a, a really nice and complex um, scent. With that being said, I have them, and let's get into the review. So first things first, um, I gotta tell you, I, I do like this packaging. Uh, it's a green bottle. I don't, this is probably the first green bottle I've come across as a reviewer. The green works really well with this tan label. Uh, the tan label has kind of this vintage, uh, matte feel to it. So again, really good packaging. So this is the 1912 and I'm going to read the ingredients off of this and it's going to be the same for both. So let's just get into that. So we've got almond oil, avocado oil, rice brand oil, hazelnut oil, hemp seed oil, apricot oil, castor oil, love the castor, grape seed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, vitamin E, and the luxurious essential oil blend. So I don't know what essential oils are being used in this uh, to make the scent. Uh, they do. Um, it is listed here that it is 100% natural. So let's just get into how it smells. As a bearded guy, I, when I get something in the mail, I open it up like this and I go, I smell it. Okay. Most of the time, you know, it the scent will open up a little bit. But I got to tell you, this is probably one of the more um, drastic changes, and that's not a bad thing. This was actually very cool. Um, because I'd smell it, and then I'm, this is the 1912, so. And I'll tell you right now, I get like a slight sweet undertone, and then I get um, a little bit of like, maybe a little bit of like a, like a musk, or like kind of a dry spice smell. And then it kind of finishes out a little sweet and like a little fresh sweet. Okay, so that's, that's what it smells like right out of the bottle. I'm going to put this in my hands, and I'm going to let it kind of breathe a little bit. To me, it really... It really opens up and you kind of get a couple, you kind of get an additional like dimension or two, if you will. Put a little bit here in the hand. All right. And the oil is, um, it's, it's yellow in color. I'd say it's kind of a, I'd say it's definitely a medium, maybe a light, depending on your preferences and stuff. I, I, I really kind of consider this a medium. So it's in my hands. Okay. So this, this opens up once it, once it's able to breathe, this is it's, it's it's it changes and it's it's very nice. This is this is delightfully complex and I, I like that. So again, I still it still starts out kind of sweet and kind of gets that that little dry musky smell. It's it just kind of helps bridge into this uh, spiced floral kind of scent because I think that spiced floral it goes it goes sweet spicy it goes sweet dry spicy floral and then finishes out very fresh and airy 1912 very good that's a good blend i man recommend that one for sure guys okay so here's the tobacconist same oil blend all right as i said before and again uh, i don't know the essential oils that are that you're used to make this up but let's go ahead and get into this again smell it right out of the bottle uh this is actually very familiar to a couple other uh tobacco scented or tobacco themed uh beard oils that i've smelled before and it's not a bad thing. It's pleasant. It's very pleasant out of the bottle. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna put it in my beard. I'm gonna tell you kind of what I experienced with it because I'll tell you right now. It again, this one was also nicely complex. And I'll let you see the. You can see the oil here. A little. It's got some tone to it. So consistency between the two is is spot on. I can't feels exactly the same as the 1912. All right. So then that opens up. So I'm gonna get it in my beard because I don't have any product in my beard and. Yeah, well now I do. Between the two of how it changes, probably the most dramatic. It really opens up nicely. Oh, that's good. I'll tell you the difference between this one 
and some of the other ones I've tried. Um, like I said, it, it smelled familiar. Like, it smelled very much like some of the other ones. But again, when it opens up, it, it changes. It's not, it's almost really not. It's almost, it's, it is definitely its own thing compared to the other ones I've tried. And then I've had other ones that really hold on to that tobacco, that real earthy tobacco smell. This one has a very nice, like sweet, light, f like botanical, fresh flower thing. Um, and I, I use flower real lightly. It's just the only way I can describe, like it just finishes very, very light and airy. And man, this is just, this is, it's nice. I love it. It's, it's like a, almost like a, a sweet natural cologne, if you will. It, guys, very, very enjoyable. And I'll tell you, these scents, they hold up. Um, the, the tobacco one probably held up the best between the two. Um, 1912, it still leaves a, I'll, I'll tell you right now, they fade, if, when, they, when they do settle down and they kind of fade as, as the day goes on, um, they, they do it very nicely. Um, they just kind of, the volume just kind of goes down and it's good. And you, when you do your little mustache sniff like this, you know, you can always still smell something in there. Guys, Luxurious Bastard, I highly recommend this one. They, you know, they've got some good, they've got some good things going on. I got two other products I'm going to review later, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, definitely recommend it. Check them out. Go to their website. Um, really good product here. So um, again, guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Hit subscribe and uh, take care. Have a great week.